Now that Jalen Hurts is starting against the Saints, let's take a look at 10 plays of him last week up at Lambeau Field. This is his first pass of the game. Last week, it's third and four. He's got Jalen Rager down at the bottom. He's got Dallas Goddard in the slot. Now, it's third and four. He's got the tight end right there on the bow out. He's got him right there. But maybe this is Jalen Hurts. Take the shot. Can't throw it any better, Jalen Rager. Can't throw it any better. It was beautiful. 34 yards, first down. They're humming. Now, let's take a look at here. Second and 22. Read the defense. The defense will tell you where to go. You're going to get some of this. Watch in the slot, Greg Ward. I mean, he's going to run a perfect curl behind the underneath defender. And he's wide open. Now, on the play, Jalen is really looking down at the bottom at Alshon Jeffrey. But King is all over him. Like, so, you're going to get some of it. It's just going to happen. He's just going to miss this. All right? But you don't want him to miss it. You want him to see it. Alshon's covered. He, the corner's sitting right on him. Can you get to number two in the middle faster before you take off? All right? Now, it's not a criticism. Every young quarterback and every quarterback misses him. Now, here it is from the end zone. Watch Greg Ward. You're going to see him curling up at the top behind Darnell Savage, number 26. All right? He's going to be there. There it is. And he's right there. Now, but you can see that Jalen's staying on Alshon. All right? He's waiting on him. Now, can you get from Alshon and get off him faster Right here with great protection, great protection, to make that throw over the middle to Greg Ward. Okay, then you take the profit, whatever, take your three yards, he's a great athlete. Okay, now, let's look at this. Rager and Hightower right here are the two wide receivers. I mean, they're both rookies. Cover three. I mean, they're literally running to be covered. I mean, they're just sitting on these routes. So, if you're in Jalen's ear right here, and they're running this coverage, and he's looking for somebody to get open, and nobody's getting open. Take the check down right here. Take your check down. Just get it out of your hands. Take the check down and move on to the next play. But waiting on those wide receivers against that, nothing was going to happen. A lot of criticism here of the wide receivers. 10 yards and a first down is not bad either. Now, on this play, they run these routes all the time. I mean, it's all vertical. Now, Jalen feels some heat, okay? So he, he's now cleaning the pocket, but he's not looking to run. He's just looking to clean the pocket and look down the field. Somebody, somebody come back and help him out. Stop this. This happens way too much. Come back and sprint back. Man, when T.O. was in this league, T.O. would, he'd be the first one. He'd run people over to come back and catch this ball. Like, come back and help him. That's the coaching point there. Somebody help him. He gets you 13 yards, he gets you 13 yards. But do you want the ball? Do you want the ball? That's my coaching point. Here we go, second and 10. I mean, it's a great throw. Got her, tight coverage, Adrian Oemus, right there, perfect. Six yards, you're on schedule. Second and four, you love it. A lot of options for Doug Peterson and that big staff of his to come up with a play. In fact, look at him right there. There's Doug, he's got the chart in his hand right there. He's already calling. Second and four, a lot of options. Now, this throw, got a three by one set, all right? You don't know if this is man or if it's gonna be zone. It's all right, the safety is gonna tell you where it is and what it is. So, Zach Ertz is gonna run this out cut here with two vertical routes. It's gonna open up the window. And he throws it right into the window, anticipation, reads the coverage, it's perfect, 20 yards. Those chunk plays drive scores when you get chunk plays. Percentage of times that you score when you get a 20 yard chunk goes way up. Jalen Hurts right here has got nothing. All right, he's got Rashawn Gary coming from one side, Zadarius Smith from the other. Now there's not nobody open and nobody's looking for the ball. So all he's trying to do here like a lot of these guys, Josh Allen, doesn't matter who they are. Kyler Murray, they're looking to, for somebody to throw to. Like, you just can't keep doing this. Like, come help your quarterback out. You watch Josh Allen last night with Stephon Diggs. That Diggs wants the ball. That's why he's got 90 catches. He's got 90 catches he's at the top of the league. When Josh gets out, he's, so he's coming back to the ball. Somebody's got to come help this quarterback out this week against the Saints. Because Marshawn Lattimore, they can lock you up just like that. Somebody come back to the ball, help him out. This Fourth and 18. This is perfect. I mean, find the escape route, exit stage right, eyes up, toss that ball right there. I mean, it's perfect. It's beautiful. You can build on that. It's great. Now, watch Greg Ward here. I mean, this receiver is just watch Greg Ward. I mean, watch what he does. Like, I mean, it's just you're allowed to run moves within these routes. Like, he puts Chan Sullivan on the ground. That's a nice, easy read when you can just beat people with just, like, put some creativity into your route. That's what happens. Let that guy eat some dirt. Make it easy on the quarterback. 
Good job, Greg. Finally, when you get a ball thrown to you, this is a perfect throw. It's a back shoulder fade right here. The defender's on top of him. It's a perfect read. Just catch the ball. Just catch the ball this week. Help your quarterback out. Jalen Hurts and the Eagles against one of the best defenses in the league on Sunday. Let's see what he can do. I mean, you got to be excited about some of the things that you saw in his snaps at Lambeau Field.